Hey guys, I am here going over the level five balance beam routine, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. My name is Coach Victoria with Flight Athletic Academy. All right guys, so we are going to get started and just jump right into it. With the mount, if you are doing a back walkover or a back handspring, you are going to want to start trying to step to the middle and then take a step over away from your dismount area. So I'm gonna be doing my dismount on that side of the balance beam, so I would start over here. If you are doing a front walkover, you're gonna to wanna to start as close to your dismount area as possible, so that when you do your front walkover, you're gonna end up in about the same place that someone doing a back walkover or a back handspring would end. For the mount, you're just gonna do a jump to front support on the balance beam, and as you go to the front support, you're gonna take your non-dominant leg, and you're gonna do a fish pose with it, which means that your knees stay close together, and you pull your foot up to your bottom. So jump, like this. Straight arms, and in your fish pose. You're gonna take that non-dominant leg, you're gonna put the arch of your foot on the balance beam, and you're gonna look at it at the same time. So again, that's jump to front support, fish pose and arch of your foot on the balance beam, looking at it. Then you're gonna push through and pull this leg through. As this leg comes through, that's your dominant leg, your arm's going up to a crown and you're looking forwards. Push down the balance beam, looking at that hand, and as you do that, this hand is gonna turn into a butterfly position. Can you come close so that we could show them that? So your thumb's kind of facing down the balance beam instead of like this, how it originally was. So when we go from here to push down, you're gonna turn this hand. Then the hands are gonna come together into a full butterfly position on the balance beam. Turn so that your dominant knee is on the balance beam and you're going to sit down on your heel. This leg is gonna be straight and straight down and the arms are gonna to go to a T. From here, you're gonna push through to a stand. The arms come down. This is your non-dominant leg that's in front. Arms come up. As they come up, your dominant hand is gonna go onto your hip, and your non-dominant hand is gonna pass through a crown. Don't pause at the crown. Push straight through a crown, and pushes backwards. And you're gonna look sideways. Keeping the back leg straight and the back toe pointed under, and that is your dominant leg. So that is the mount. Let's go over that one more time. Jump to front support with a fish pose. Look at the arch of your foot. Pull this one through, go to crown. Look down the hand and turn the hand at the same time. Hands together in butterfly position on your knee. Sit down, straight leg, arms in T. Arms down on your hip, up through crown, and soft push. From here, we're going to put the arms in front of us and we're gonna do a straight leg kick. The straight leg part is going to be the leg that is doing the kick, so don't get confused by that. I say straight leg kick, but only the leg that's doing the kicking is going to be straight because the opposite leg, your base leg, is going to be in a plie. So from here, you're gonna go arms soft like this, forwards. The leg that is kicking is gonna be straight and this leg is going to be bent. And then tap, tap. Let's go over that pose again. Dominant leg behind you and arms in front, plie through the base leg tap, tap. Now that tap, tap, you're gonna keep that knee up really high and this foot just goes dot, dot. The arms, your dominant arm, take your middle finger and put it in that soft spot of your elbow. Dot, dot. And then it's arms go to T and you point. Point means that all the weight is gonna be on that back leg there and that we're just pointing the front foot in a certain direction. So just toe on the balance beam. From here, we're going to do arms up into either a back walkover or put the feet together for a back handspring. Or if you're doing a front walkover, you would be back here and then you would go 
uh, tap, tap, point up, front walk over. Um, but since our girls are doing back handspring, they'll land here and finish. So let's go over all that again. They'll mount, I'm gonna skip that beginning part, to here, arms down, good hand on your hip, you're passing through the crown and pose, arms soft, tap, tap, point, back handspring. And finish. So for this part, you're going to take the leg that's behind and you are going to put it out down the balance beam. And you're going to twist your dominant leg so that you're going to be sideways on the balance beam. This part's going to be soft. So finish in a V and soft. Arms are in T, is that correct, Coach Kalen? Okay, so right here, this is the position we're going to. Then we're going to cross the arms over each other like this and pull that leg into a passe. So it's soft and then sharp, 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 sharp. From here, we're gonna put our non-dominant hand on our hip, take our dominant arm, and soft. So you're just dragging this foot back and go to a releve lock stand, soft. Okay, let's go over that again. So from the mount to here. Back handspring. And finish. Now, soft, sharp, sharp, soft. Okay, your hip hand does the work here. So you're going to take the hand that's on the hip, pull it up through a crown, and put it out to the side. Now, I did have my non-dominant leg in front there, but look what happens with my feet. Oh, where was my arm? Oh, in front. Look what happens with my feet. Up, around, drop. Now I'm ready for a full turn from here. So we're going to do the full turn. And then it goes step. With your silly foot or your non-dominant foot, lock. Arms go behind your bottom. Chin up nice and high. So from the end of the back handspring, finish and soft. Sharp, sharp, soft. Hip hand does the work. Crown, down, drop. Full turn. Step, lock. Now from here, we have our weird four count. It's not that confusing if you break it down, but it does have a little rhythm to it. So it's like. What you're going to do is from here at the end of your full turn, we have our non-dominant leg out in front because that's how we end a full turn since that was the one that was in passe. We do our step lock. We're going to go to a scale first. And this scale has a um, plie in the base leg. It's a flat foot, plie in the base leg, arms in opposition, which means that if this leg is out behind me, that arm is going to be out in front of me there. So if this is the front leg, my opposite arm is going to go out. So here, then we're going to bring the arm straight to crown the quickest path. Passe releve, plie, dip the leg, look down, hover, step together. Okay, let's go over that slower. Full turn, step, lock. On the dominant leg, drop, 
This is my dominant leg. Take the non-dominant leg, put it back out behind you. Opposition arms. Plie. Now step up to a releve. Arms go straight up to a crown. Releve and a passe. Back down to a flat foot. Take the dominant leg, cross it over the balance beam. Dip, and the arms go like this. Left arm down or non-dominant arm down, dominant arm up, looking down that hand. Come back up to a straight leg. Hover over the balance beam, so don't touch it. Then step dominant leg, close your non-dominant leg behind it. These are the jumps. Split jump, sisone, step, finish. Okay, let's go from the um, soft. So this soft pose here, non-dominant leg in front and non-dominant arm on your hip. Crown, drop, full turn. Step non-dominant leg, close the dominant leg behind. And scale, passe, drop, hover, step, step, plie. Again. Hip hand does the work. Oh, sorry, non-dominant leg's in front. Hip hand does the work, drop, full turn, step, lock. Scale, passe, drop, hover, step, close, plie, split jump, plie, sisone, land, step, finish. Now from here, we're going to go to a lock and close the arms behind your head like this, grabbing your arms. Non-dominant leg in front and squat, keep your chest up here. Turn. If your chest goes down there, you're going to wobble. So it's very important that you keep a straight line. Elbows, shoulders, hips, heel. Then the arms come around into a fossey pose, looking over your non-dominant shoulder. Fossey pose looks like this. Dominant hand on top of non-dominant hand. Fingers wide open like jazz hands, stacked. Okay? Let's go over after the sisone. So you land the sisone. You always step through at the end of a sisone. Finish. Non-dominant leg is in front. Squat. Keep the chest up here. Turn. Arms back around. Bossy pose. That's sharp. Then from here, we're going to go straight into a scale. So we're going to sharp drop into a scale. Has to be above horizontal. One gymnastics, two gymnastics. So stand up out of that turn, arms go down, up to the falsy pose, looking over your non-dominant shoulder, and straight drop the heel, scale. One gymnastics, two gymnastics. Don't put the toe back down on the balance beam. We're gonna use that scale to go straight into our leap pass. So from the scale, arms are down on the step for the leap pass. So scale, arms down. Do that a few times. Fossey pose, scale, step, arms down. One more time. Fossey pose, scale, step, arms down. Leap, immediately pull your foot behind it because that's how we're gonna go for the stretch jump. Immediately pull the foot behind it stretch, jump, finish. Okay, again from the fossey pose. Dominant foot's in front, fossey pose. Drop, scale, right into the step, leap, close, stretch, jump, finish in a V. So stretch, jump, comes up in the crown, finish in the V. Now, I love this pose sequence. We're going to go back like this. Let's just do the feet first. So we've just finished the stretch jump. We're going to take the dominant leg that's in front. And we're going to go back onto the balance beam. Is that right, Kaylin? 
and pose through the front leg here. This is a forced arch. Then back and pose, forced arch. The back leg's gonna stay straight. So let's pretend we just finished the stretch jump. Land, do it with me. Take the dominant leg, back, forced arch. Dominant leg, back, put the weight on it, forced arch through the front. Okay, the arms now, land, stretch jump, finish. Soft, so soft means we're gonna bend our elbows. So you're gonna bring the arms here and then push them forwards. Land, stretch jump, finish. Bring the arms in, push them forwards. Now this pose, grab your fingertips with the opposite hand. Pull them to the side, looking straight down the balance. The only thing that is twisting about this pose your arms and your shoulders. So do not bring it into your chest and smush the pose. Keep it nice and open, hold your frame, and pull it to the side. Still looking straight down the balance beam with a forced arch. So let's do that again with the arms slowly. Land the stretch, jump, finish. Step back, pose. Step back, pose. Point with arms up. So arms in high, point your dominant leg in front. Because from there, we're going to do our cartwheel. Trust me, you don't wanna see me do a cartwheel up here. Step together, stretch jump. Okay, so let's go over that from the Fosse pose now. See if we can put that all together. Posse pose, looking over the shoulder. And drop. Step, leap together, stretch jump. Land, finish. Step back, pose. Step back, pose. Point, cartwheel. Helpful tip for your cartwheel if you're having trouble landing it. Turn your second hand in to face your first hand. Look underneath your armpit. Watch your feet touch the balance beam. Stretch jump, finish. Now, this part is the ending sequence. Because we are going to do a back tuck off the end of the balance beam, and they did not want to deal with this thing that kids do. Before you do the back tuck, there's a little dance sequence here. Keep in mind, your foot is gonna be, your non-dominant foot is gonna be in the front because you did just land a cartwheel. Cartwheels land with your non-dominant foot in front. Cartwheel stretch jump, stretch jump, land. Do they finish the stretch jump or do they go straight into it? Kaylin's back behind the camera fact checking me because I have too many routines in my brain right now. It's choreography season. They do finish, okay. So land the stretch jump and finish. From here, you're going to take the foot that's in front, that's your non-dominant leg, and you're going to go sideways, whoa, I'm doing that too slow, sideways with it, and then drag them together. Now, this is going to help you because if you landed your cartwheel stretch jump like over here, you've got a lot of distance to cover here. So there is no set, um, measurement for that step. So you can do very far, pull together if you need to. Or if you landed your cartwheel stretch jump and you're right here, just close, right there, easy peasy. Okay, so land the cartwheel stretch jump. Let's say we landed a pretty decent distance from it. Finish, and is it crown? Pull to crown. And this kind of reminds me of that piece of the floor routine. But my heels are together, I'm up on higher eleve, my toes are turned out, first position. Then, you're going to point the foot down the balance beam. This hand is gonna go on your hip, and this hand is gonna go, rare Kaylin, I always forget this, down. <laughs> down, and you want this foot to be pointed uh, about a foot distance away from the end of the balance beam. 
So point, about a foot distance. You can look at it. They want you to look at it and see where you are. Then you're going to drag the other foot in to a forced arch. This arm's going up. This is your non-dominant arm. Dominant arm is still on your hip and you're looking down the balance beam, meaning the far way. Switch your feet. Other one's gonna go to a four starch because now we've got pressure through this foot. Then we're going to slice our face. Take this arm, slice it over our face. Slice it over our face. See how I just switched feet there again? Is that right, Kaylin? Looking over your non-dominant shoulder, the one that's sliced. I think your fingers are on the other shoulder. Okay. Then, so we're looking down switch, slice. Take your fingers, put them on your opposite shoulder over your non-dominant shoulder. Then you're ready to do a back tuck. See how perfectly that works out? So you can watch yourself woo, get there. <laughs> Let's go from the cartwheel, step together, non-dominant leg in front, stretch jump, finish. Now, first position, close, Hand on hip, non-dominant leg out, about a foot distance away from the end of the balance beam. And look down the balance beam. Switch, slice, boom. I'm literally on the end of the balance beam. And I don't have to turn around and I don't have to do this. Don't do that. Let's go from the beginning and put it all together. See if you can remember it. If this video is helpful to you, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and comment below and let us know some other things that you would like to see. We do plan on doing the level four floor and beam next week. To start, salute, hop up to a fish pose. Leg out, pull this one through to a crown. As you turn the hand, Push down, look that way. Butterfly hands, knee down, arms in T. Hand goes on the hip, other hand goes through crown, and pose, looking sideways. Straight leg on the kick, bend the base leg, tap, tap, point, together, back handspring, or from walkover or back walkover and finish and soft sharp sharp soft hip hand does the work drop full turn step lock here's the four count scale passe drop Hover, step, close, split jump, sisone, land, step, finish. Silly foot in front or non-dominant leg in front. Squat, chest up here, turn, arms back around, bossy pose looking over your non-dominant shoulder. Straight drop into the scale. One gymnastics, two gymnastics, straight go into the leap, arms down. Leap together, stretch jump. Land the stretch jump, finish, and step back, pose. Step back, grab fingers, turn, pose. Point arms high. Cartwheel. Non-dominant leg in front. Stretch jump, finish, and turn, close the feet. Hand on hip, look down. Look down the balance beam, arm up, switch feet. Slice your face, look over the non-dominant shoulder and back tuck, dismount. Salute, that back tuck was so fast, you didn't even see it. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, give us a like and comment down below.